I'm Emily Lakdawalla. I blog every day at planetary.org slash blog about all of the adventures that we're having right now exploring our solar system. Um, we actually have about 20 spacecraft across the solar system right now exploring Mercury to the Moon to Mars, Saturn, and on its way to Pluto. It's an incredibly exciting time for planetary exploration. But I think that all of you will ho hopefully agree with me that tomorrow is going to be one of the most exciting events of the next few years. Curiosity is going to be landing on Mars at 10.31 p.m. tomorrow. One way, or an one way or another, it will be on Mars <laughs> at 10.31 p.m. tomorrow. Let us hope that she's on all six of her wheels and able to begin a two-year and hopefully many, 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 many more year exploration of Gale Crater on Mars. Now, these kinds of missions happen because of people like you. Everybody in this country thinks, thought at some point that it was a great idea to send our spacecraft out into the solar system to explore a strange new world to seek out new life and wait, wait a minute, that's not But at least we are looking for new life. We are hoping that we will find evidence, maybe not for life with this particular mission, but maybe the hope that there could once have been life on Mars, and just as importantly, help us understand how we may one day get to Mars in the future, maybe temporarily, and then maybe eventually, hopefully, for good. Now actually, I, I had recently had a discussion with a few people in the audience here, I would like to find out how many of you would go on a one-way trip to Mars. One way. Awesome. You guys are freaking crazy. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm perfectly happy sitting at home and exploring through the eyes of the robots that we have across the solar system. And that's what I write about all the time at, at planetary.org slash blog. Now, right now, planetary exploration is under threat. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been cut from NASA's budget because now this country does have other priorities, that's true. But this is the kind of edifice that's been built over decades and decades of successful exploration of the solar system. Mars and Saturn and Jupiter and Venus. And we'll, I hope we get back to Venus again. It's been a really long time since we've been to Venus. But this cannot continue unless we continue the funding for space exploration. So how can you help that? You can write to your congresspeople. I hope that all of you have a nice, friendly relationship with your congressperson and can write them and tell them to explore space more. You can also join the Planetary Society. There is a nice booth over there with great-looking shirts that you will get if you join the Planetary Society today. We're a nonprofit advocacy organization with tens of thousands of members all around the world who feel like you that we should be exploring space, sending robots, and then humans to go out and settle other planets in our system. This is real, guys. This is not science fiction. This is actual spaceships traveling between planets, landing on them, driving across their surface, and showing us places that we have never seen before. This is for real, and I hope you guys enjoy what happens tomorrow. I hope what happens tomorrow is a good thing. I hope it works, and that it's the beginning of a grand adventure across an absolutely new and breathtakingly beautiful landscape on Mars. So stay tuned. Thank you.